guys, it is Laura and you're watching Laura X Annie and today I'm here with my five YouTubers that inspire me. Number one is a combined two. You may know them as Zalfie, but they are Zoe Sugg and Alfie Days, aka Zoella and Pointless Blog. Now, I love their vlogs. As much as I love Zoe's YouTube, like her actual main channel, her vlogs give me life. And I am so proud of her. Like everywhere she's, what she's done and where she's come from, it's so inspiring. Like her books, her beauty range, her lifestyle range, everything, Sug Life, everything she's done is insane. I'm actually currently looking at the book that she signed for me, which was insane. I met her in Edinburgh in 2015 and I can accurately tell you now, she is exactly the same in person as she is in her videos. You don't find that much. I'll say that. Most of the people that are on this list are the same in real life as they are on video. That's why I like them, if that makes sense. But I think what makes Zoe's vlogs special is that she keeps the fans up to date. She keeps us up to date on her anxiety, lets us know what's going on. And it's just very personal sometimes. I feel like when you're sitting watching her, you feel it's very personal. Um, but when I met her, I said to her, you're even more beautiful in person. And this was her reaction, i.e. that photo. She just went, oh, thank you. And she seemed so taken aback, but she was really ill that day. And I just, the fact that she powered through that Edinburgh book signing to do it, it's that, you know, any author and any YouTuber and all that isn't, they don't have to come and meet you. They don't have to do a book tour. They don't, they don't have to. So like the fact that like, even like with Sug Life and PB Merch and everything with Alfie, um, you know, everything he's done with the creator store, like they're not making that for themselves. Zoe's not sitting there going, oh, I could do with a new beauty scrub. I'll go and make a beauty scrub for myself. She's making it for us. And the amount of effort and everything that goes into the hoodies, to the lifestyle range, to the beauty range, to the creator store with Alfie, uh, all the kind of pop sockets, the spinners, the backpacks, everything he's done is insane. And especially Alfie, like props to Alfie for like the SLX PB shop. I never got a chance to go down to it, but from what I've seen of it, it looks insane. And I think the amount of effort that goes into that and the amount of work he's put in, especially Hello World, I don't have tickets to that, I wish I did. But I'm in uni at the time, so I actually can't go. Um, but it's just insane. Like the amount of just work and effort goes into this. I mean, you have to give them props. And the fact that they're so real in their YouTube, like their daily vlogs, it's so, so good. And I just, I can't help but be inspired by them and just, want to want to just unabashedly be me and that's what the two of them are they are not hiding anything they are who they are number two is another person who is exactly who she is and i love her for it it's gabby aka velvet ghost i bloody love gabby if you guys have been with my channel for a while you will know i actually swoon about her all the time she has liked quite a few of my tweets and she's retweeted me once and she's replied to me a couple of times. This is the reply that will always stick in my brain. Um, I said something to her about being a two and she was like, you forgot the one in front of your two. Gabby, smooth AF, smooth AF. Um, but no, I love her to pieces. She is so unabashedly herself. She doesn't care what anyone else thinks and that's what's important about Gabs because no matter what has happened and what she has done and the mistakes she has made she has learned from her mistakes and the amount of like like crap she gets for her cosmetic procedures which by the way she's doing for herself not for anybody else so why is anyone else commenting on it why am i even commenting on it i shouldn't be because it's for her she chose to tell us about it she didn't have to tell us about it she could have gone and just done it and then we would notice something different but she actually took the time to talk to us about it and for people to kind of come back to her and be like why are you doing this why are you doing that let her f***ing do it i mean come on anyway i love her for her i think she takes so much time for her fans her pre-mark range i'm currently looking at her dressing gown right now there's bits of gabby there's bits of zoe there's just people youtubers are dotted around my room but i i really love gabby and i think she just her vlogs her main channel, her new merch. I mean, I just, she puts so much effort and so much work into it. And I love how real her vlogs are. I love how she's like, she'll say that she's not been out of bed for ages, but her Twitter is gold. If you don't follow her Twitter, I don't know what you're not doing, but she, her Twitter is gold. Like it's literal gold. I don't know how many times I've retweeted her, liked her tweets or replied to her because her Twitter is gold. Um, so I love her Twitter so much. And I just love her. 
Um, so Gabs, if you're watching, I love you very much. I'd love to meet you one day. I just like love how you just would be one of those people that would just like talk about anything and nothing. Just love it. Number three is the lovely Dodie Clark, aka Dododo. Is that how I said that right? Probably not. Anyway, Dodie. I freaking love Dodie. What inspires me about Dodie is her music. What she's done and where she's come from. She's in the top five of the charts. Ah! Oh my god, she is insanely amazing. Like, I just, I mean, in the middle, you, sick of losing soulmates, she, freckles and constantly. I mean, I just, she blows my mind. I think she's insane, and I think her music is insane. And I mean, I just, I have no words for how much I love Dodie and her passion for music and her kind of quirkiness with the music inspires me and her how she talks about her depression anxiety depersonalization i can i can relate with two out of three of those things and it just makes me feel like i'm not alone sometimes it is hard to watch her videos or watch her snapchats if i'm going through a really down day that's only because it's like i don't want to make my like put other people's things i've got a bad habit of putting other people's problems on top of mine even if i don't know them and it, I, I get worried about people, but if I'm having, if I'm in a good state, I watch her stuff, I'm like, yeah, I completely relate. But that's a thing, like, at least, I don't know, at least she's talking about it. That's, do you know what, I don't, I think, I don't think she's talking about it. I don't think she's oversharing, to be brutally honest with you. I think she's sharing what she should be sharing, and I think more people should talk about it. And I just love her for doing that, and it really inspires me. Uh, number four is the lovely Hazel Hayes, aka Chewing Sand. If you don't know, I freaking loved uh, Hazel's Time of the Month series. I was freaking obsessed with that. If you don't know, I am doing film and media currently at Stirling University. I have always been an actor. I've been acting since I was three. I've been nearly acting for 20 years. Oh, that's a long time. But um, back on track, Hazel has just directed her own series. What the fuck? I mean, she is insane. She is incredible. The amount of editing and the amount of just work that seems to go into her, her videos is, is incredible and it's commendable and it inspires me to be a director, a screenwriter, a producer in the future and I think having such a strong woman on screen, like on my YouTube, do you know what I mean, to kind of like relate to, she's just behind the screen, she sits and talks to a camera like I'm doing right now and for me that's very kind of empowering to see that because you know you see all these women directors and these women filmmakers and all that sort of stuff but to have someone like Hazel on the internet, a YouTuber who is making her way in the world. I mean, props to the girl. I love her so much and I think she's such an empowering and inspiring woman. And in at number five is the lovely Jen Ross. I love Jen. I went to school with Jen. Jen is now at 5,000 subscribers and I am so beyond proud of her. She inspires me because she's younger than me. She's still tr like struggling with uni and everything. She's juggling a job and everything. And do you know something? Her videos are a work of actual art. And I think that because she's from my hometown, I don't know many YouTubers from my hometown, to be brutally honest with you. There's only a couple. And there was used to be so many more when I was younger. And it used to be my mates that were doing it, but they've since stopped. But yeah, so Jen is just so inspiring. Like, there's not many YouTubers from my hometown. And to see her, where she is today and what she's doing and everything she does, I'm so stupidly proud of her. I love her to places and I just love how much she inspires me and she is stuck at it and she's sticking at it and she's something that I'm gonna stick at it too. If she can do it, I can do it too. And um, if she can juggle uni and she can juggle work, I can juggle it and I can make better content. And all these six people, five, but you know, six people, all these six people are pushing me to be a better content creator. And um, yeah. So without them, I don't think I would have a YouTube channel and I think I would have quit long ago. But because they're there, 
every time I watch one of their videos, I'm like, I can do something like that. I can make better content for people. As Alfie would say, do more of what makes you happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, all their channels are going to be linked down below. Go check them out if you haven't already. If you are new to my channel, I make videos on a Monday and a Thursday. Sometimes that can get screwed up due to uni. I make lifestyle videos and sometimes they're a bit Harry Potter related. Tens. Um, and I will see you guys with another video on Thursday. I love you all. See you then.